All right, so I have another unboxing for y'all today. Another vinyl record that I, I just got in the mail this morning. And it is actually in a bigger box. I'm not sure why, because I know there's only one here. And so this particular record was actually released for its 30th anniversary which was announced two days after I bought this one but I don't care I just have one of the older releases but one of the older remaster releases but as you will see soon that is not necessarily a bad thing now this one came from an eBay seller. It's a nice box. He used a lot of tape. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess he was selling these in bulk. But as you can see, he put bubble wrap in there. He did a really nice packaging job. And he gave me one of those professional boxes. So I could really, um, I could really reuse this box to, to uh, send out another record if I need to. Nice box. No wonder why it's so big. It's because he put so much cardboard in there. See that? Two pieces of cardboard. Anyways, so I got uh, this record here. It is a uh, Nirvana in utero, the 2013 mix, and uh, I'm just checking it out to make sure there's no splits anywhere and no damage anywhere. Everything looks good to me. Sometimes these sellers, they uh, try to send you something that's used. And it does not seem to be the case here. Oh, the plastic is a little tight. Looks like the corner is a little tight right here. Like the, like the real, real a centimeter of a corner as you can see see what I'm talking about right there that looks like it was like like that from the factory I, I, I'm willing to bet because this side looks like it too the corner is just uh, smaller well I'm not worried about that uh, I don't think I'm gonna open this one yet well anyways I got this for a, a winning bid on eBay, $26. And then I think there was $4 shipping and tax was $2. So it came to $32 shipped with tax, which is a very good deal because typically you will find this record for 38 99 plus shipping and tax maybe if you're lucky you'll find it for 34.99 plus shipping and tax maybe even $30 plus shipping and tax and it would still be more than what I paid for it which as I mentioned before was $26 plus $4 shipping plus $2 tax is $32 total shipped and with tax included very good deal. I do have this album already on vinyl. The one that I have is the Back to Black Pressing, which is also the Albini version. Um, but this is the 2013 remix. So this actually um, came out 10 years ago. But the record itself, I believe, uh, it says 2013. I guess the record itself came out in 2013 as well. 
but I've always had the 24-bit FLAC files, but now I actually have this on record. Um, it was kind of an impulse buy because I saw that a, a, an eBay auction was about to end and I just pulled the trigger and won. I won it for maybe like six, seven, eight dollars savings. Maybe even more than that. Maybe about ten dollars savings. Six to ten dollars savings. In any case, it's a two vinyl disc pressing, so two vinyl discs, two vinyls, three songs on each side. The one that I have, the back to black pressing, is only one vinyl. So this is a nice one to have, and this is one of my favorite albums ever made. I bought this album on CD back in 1994, and um, it was one of the first rock albums that I started to enjoy as as a child and uh, I remember it was in the summer of 1994 and this album here basically um, set up what I the, the music that I was about to be listening to maybe for the next five years from from then on after hearing this album and buying it on CD the stuff that I listened to uh, music-wise was never the same. I started listening to all grunge rock, post-grunge rock, everything that came out in 94, 95, 96, 97, and beyond um, was all because of this album. And of course I knew uh, their previous albums. Uh, but just had never um, owned the CD because uh, I was about 10 years old at the time and uh, but uh, I'm glad to have this to add to my collection and uh, I don't think I'm going to be buying the remastered version the remastered version is going for close to $50 I believe so uh, if you're like me and you want one of the cheaper ones you, you might want to just go with with this one this is a great sounding pressing right here or or the back to black version which you could find maybe even for cheaper maybe for thirty dollars twenty five dollars um, but uh, if you want uh, how the, the album originally sounds on the actual CD then you might want to go with one of the other pressings because the, the two that I was talking about, this one and, and the uh, Back to Black one, are both Albini pressings. But um, it's worth it for me to have two copies of this album on vinyl record. And uh, I hear the new version is going to have two new shows. Not new shows, but two shows that uh, if they were previous, re previously released, they're not going to sound... Uh, uh, as good as, as what they are now so they, they remastered these shows they remastered these two shows in reading it previously one show was from 1994 and one show was from 1993 and uh, I don't remember the, the dates exactly but uh, I, I'll look forward to hearing those when, when that remaster of the album is actually released um, and uh, there is another version you could buy for the, for about three hundred dollars that has all the different artwork and all the shows that I was telling you about before, and this album itself um, in a completely different remaster um, from the original remixer. But it's interesting. There were actually uh, two different mixes of this album before it was even released. And now we have three, four different mixes. It's crazy. But this is this is the one mix that, that I know for a fact sounds different and it sounds good. You can hear all kinds of different uh, uh, background noises. Uh, and there's, there's a little bit of extras in there as well. 
So I would I would recommend this one. Uh, and see y'all in the, uh, for the next video.